Hello everyone, my name is Kate and in today's video I'm going to teach you a great way to remember new vocabulary. The name of this method is the L-E-A-R-N method or we can say the learn method but it's not about learning actually, it's about the remembering process. Each letter in this word means a step in remembering new vocabulary. So let's get started. The L in the learn method stands for listen. When you're learning a new word or phrase, it's important to listen to it first. Listen to the new word being used in real situations. Hear the word in context through songs, movies or conversations. Pay attention to how it's used. I'm going to show you how to do it in a real example later today, so please keep watching this video. The E in the learn method stands for explain. After you learn a word, try to explain its meaning to a friend or family member, as if you're teaching them. Explaining the information to someone else forces you to improve your memory because you organize your thoughts and structure information in your mind. Teach the new word to someone else. This will help you improve your understanding. And it really helps you to remember a new word or phrase. The A in the learn method stands for associate. How to do it? Think of a word you already know that reminds you of the new word or create a story in your mind that connects you to something familiar. I'm going to show you a real example later in this video, so keep watching and you will learn how to do it. This step will help you to link the new word with others you already know. When you create associations with words you already know, you build a network of meanings. The next letter is R. The R in the learn method stands for review. This means you should go over the words you've learned again and again. Regularly review and repeat the words you've learned to make sure you remember them. How to do it? Set aside some time, like twice a week, to go through the words you've been learning to make sure you still remember them. The letter N in the learn method stands for note. To make notes means to write something down. This really helps you to remember new words. It's important to mention that there is a difference between writing something down and typing something down. Sometimes I type new words in my smartphone when I'm listening to Spanish lessons. But I believe the most effective way to remember new vocabulary is writing it down. When you take a pen and make notes, it's actually better for your memory. When you write something in a notebook or on a piece of paper, you can review your notes later, which is very useful for remembering information. How to do it? Keep a notebook or a digital document where you write down the new words, their meanings, examples of how to use them, and any other details that help you remember. Update it every time you learn a new word. Now it's time to practice. Let's apply the learn strategy to the word meticulous, which means showing great attention to detail, very careful and precise. The first step is listen. What to do? Find examples of meticulous being used. How to do it? Listen to the word in podcasts or TED Talks, especially in those fields where precision is valued. 
Note how it's used to describe people, work, or processes. Use Youglish, a website that provides context for how words are used in real-life situations by pulling video clips from YouTube. Simply type meticulous in the search bar and it will show you a variety of video clips with this word. Let's see! His attention to detail and the meticulous approach that he had to his work really rubbed off on me. Will also help you to keep your sources and notes in meticulous order. Bottom line, I need you to be meticulous with your work. Give yourself some time and some space to do all that research. In meticulous detail so that others could adopt his method, reproduce his work. The second step is explain. What to do? Teach meticulous to someone. How to do it? Explain to a friend that meticulous is used to describe someone who is very careful about doing something in an extremely accurate and exact way. You can do it even in your native language because the goal is to remember the meaning. The next step is associate. What to do? Link meticulous with a familiar concept. It's better to write it down, but you can just say it aloud or repeat it in your mind if you are unable to write it down at the moment. How to do it? Think of a time when you or someone you know paid close attention to detail in completing a task. Maybe you were meticulous in organizing a party, making sure every detail was perfect. For example, I am very meticulous in preparing my birthday party. I always prepare the food, write a plan of activities, make a playlist with my favorite songs, and decorate the room. I always make sure everything is perfect. Also, it's great to create a network of meanings. First, you create associations with words you already know. We can find synonyms like careful, thorough, detailed, precise, and diligent. We can find some related concepts – attention to detail, accuracy, and precision. Finally, we can find some examples of use. We can use meticulous in the workplace, for example, a meticulous engineer carefully checks every detail of the blueprints before construction begins. We can use the word meticulous in daily life. For example, a meticulous planner organizes their day with detailed schedules. We can use this word in creative tasks, for instance, a meticulous artist might spend hours on a single detail of a painting. The next step is review. What to do? Review and repeat meticulous regularly. It's better to do just a little bit every day, even 15 minutes a day, instead of cramming for long hours in just one day. Cramming means trying to memorize a large amount of information in a short period. It's more effective to do just a little bit every day. How to do it? Schedule times to review the word, its meaning, and your personal connection to it. You could review it once a week, adding it to flashcards with other words, making flashcards with new words and putting them everywhere in your home is a very effective technique. And the final step is note. What to do? I want you to write the word meticulous down. Pay close attention to the spelling. The nice thing about making notes is that it helps you to test yourself because you remember the correct spelling of the word. Try to say it out loud. M-E-T-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. The more work your brain does, the better you are able to remember vocabulary. 
how to do it. Write down meticulous in your vocabulary journal, noting its definition as showing great attention to detail. Craft an example sentence like he was meticulous in his planning of the event, ensuring every aspect was considered. Also, write down the personal association you've made and any places where you've heard the word used. By engaging with meticulous through these steps, you not only remember what it means, but also how to use it effectively in your own communication. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. You can use the learn method to remember new vocabulary and improve your memory skills. If you want to make me a little bit happier, you can send me a super thanks. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time.